Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT's video on how to create an OSX Sierra installer disk. Okay guys, so recently I did a video on how to download Mac OS Sierra and you can find that on the 123myit.com website. It'll be, there's a search field up the top. If, it's, if this becomes an old video and you need to search for it, you can just do a search up the top and that will bring up the video. Otherwise, at the moment, it's on the front page of the website, how to download Mac OS Sierra. So that shows you how to download this uh, app here. And now the next step is we're going to show you how to actually create a USB from this app that we've downloaded. So the idea of this USB is you have it on a USB. Um, it has to be about a minimum of eight gigabytes in size. You install the, the software on the USB and then you can then in, do a fresh install of uh, the Mac OS Sierra on any Mac. So for example, let's say you wanted to sell a, an old Mac that you had, you could you could use this USB to wipe the data on the hard drive and just install the, the Mac OS Sierra uh, fresh on that Macintosh. So if you, I've already set up a, a um, page on the 123myt.com website it's the very first one, but if you need to do a search for it again, just do create um, uh, Mac OS, and that will that will actually bring up this page here. So before we actually get into that, you can uh, I'll show you how to download and and, and how to uh, use the terminal code in a second. But first, before you do that, we just need to wipe our USB that we have here. So this is one that I've already installed Mac OS previously to test whether it works. But we go to Go and Utilities and go into Disk Utility. All right, so here's the USB here. You can see it's eight gigabyte in size like I mentioned previously. And what we're going to go ahead and do is just erase it. Make sure it's set to Mac OS ex Extended Journaled and Set this as untitled for now. You can change this around, but if you change this around, it means you have to actually change this part in the code there. So let's leave it untitled, um, just so you can get it all set up and ready to go. And we just wanna hit erase and erase again. And if you watch over here, it's going to remove our uh, USB disk and uh, it's going to then create it and call it untitled and pop it back here titled there's nothing in there so yeah, just bear in mind if you erase this disk that um, when you when you do this you're actually going to wipe anything that's on this uh, USB so just be aware of that let's just close down the utilities there and we can then go ahead and we can close this uh, disk utility um, let's go ahead and we'll download the app first so the app is a is a GUI interface and it's much easier to um, uh, you don't have to use this command in the terminal. So if you go over to the 123MyT website, if you click on Downloads and then go to the Downloads part, let me just minimize this screen here real quick. And you go to the Downloads page. So this is our Downloads page here. You can see up the top there, Downloads. And scroll down to where it says Mac OS Installer, uh, Install Disk App, Download here. So if you click that and download, what it does is it downloads this install disk creator. All right, so once that downloads, we open it up and this is what it looks like. So you can see here, select the volume to become the installer. So we just wanna click on the down arrow there and we wanna click on untitled, because untitled is our, remember, is our, uh, our USB drive here. And you can see here, it says select the OS installer. So if you look down the bottom here, under Applications, Install Mac OS Sierra app, it's already found that. So it's, it's quite, quite smart. It knows already where to look. So if we looked in our launch pad here, there it is. But this is actually referring to our Applications menu, which is this one here. I'll show you real quick. Uh, applications. So go Applications, and there it's referring to that there. So Applications, Install app. So all we need to do, guys, is just hit create installer, then we'll need to put in our password. All right, you can see the USB has disappeared again. Now, just while that's doing that, uh, this, this will actually take a fair while because this, this uh, file is quite large in size. If we check the info on it, 
you can see it's uh, five gigabytes in size. So it has to extract all the files and then set up this, uh, this, US, this USB. Um, just to let you know that uh, this is something that's handy. Even if you decide you're never going to use this, it's good to have a copy of this software. You can always download um, a copy of this from, uh, you know, future copies and that from Apple. But the problem with Apple is they upgrade their operating system every year. And let's say you buy a Mac this year. Well, the operating system that's supplied with that Mac will generally run a lot faster. Um, every year, Mac, um, every year, every year, Apple decide to upgrade their, their operating system and it'll run a little bit slower uh, on the older Macs. So it's a good idea to at least have a copy of this on a USB and just keep it, um, you know, uh, for when you need it. Also, if you ever wanted to, uh, you know, buy another Mac or you have a friend that's uh, having some problems, let's say with a virus or something, you wanted to do a clean install of the Mac, then this is very helpful to have one of these USBs. You just pop it in the Mac, um, hold down your option key at startup, and then just install it like you would with. This essentially is replacing a DVD. So rather than having a DVD and popping it into in the DVD drive, we use a USB and we install our software via the USB. Okay guys, so while that's installing here, you see the installer bar go across. So what it's doing is it's extracting everything from this uh, install Mac OS Sierra app and it's popping it onto the USB here. If we have a look on the USB, you'll see that it's starting to install there. Okay, um, so let's say you, wanted, you didn't want to do it this way with the download. If you wanted to do it with the terminal command, so if we go back to the 123MyIT website, we find the create Mac OS installer uh, post that I've just put up and obviously video to come because I'm recording it now. Um, then what we do is we grab this command line here and we go copy and we go up the top to the finder or the little magnifying glass and what we do is we type in terminal all right, and then hit return. All right, and we right click and paste that command into the uh, terminal window here. Now you have to be administrator because it will ask for your uh, administrator password in a second. Let's just talk through uh, what, what this command is going to do. So it's sudo, so it's, it's saying administrator, um, then it's forward slash applications install, all right. And then it's saying the Mac OS Sierra app. Okay, so that's that same um, application that is here. Okay, so install, which is that part, Mac OS, which is that part, Sierra app, which is that part. And okay, and it says components resources create install media. Okay, so that's the command that, of the media that it's going to create. The volume. Okay, so the volume is volumes untitled, which was, which was the name of the USB, or will be in a second when when I show you how to use this one. Then application path, applications install, Mac OS Sierra app, and no interaction, and then say and then done. So I won't hit this right now because we're still waiting uh, for this installed disk to finish. Okay, and there you go. So you can see here, complete the bootable install has now been created. To boot from it reboot and hold down the option key during startup. Now I'll, show, I'll release another video after this one which shows you how to do a clean install of Mac OS Sierra uh, on a Mac. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do that at a later stage and I'll show you how to do that. So uh, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that one. So what we need to do now, if you wanted to do, uh, do the same step but not use this disk creator, let's just quit that one, and we wanted to use the terminal screen First of all, we'll go through and so the same steps apply again. We go into Go and then Utilities, and we're just going to go into the Disk Utility, and we're going to do we're just going to clean this. Um, uh, we're going to do an erase on that uh, install uh, USB, so we're going to make sure there's got nothing on there uh, when we when we do the file transfer. So again, we set the format to Mac OS Extended Journaled uh, and the name is going to be Untitled. Now Untitled will tie into uh, what the name of the 
uh, USB is here. All right, so you can see that's done now. That's complete. We're going to close that, close this off, and all we're going to do now is just press return. All right, ask for our password. You're going to put in the password there and hit return again. All right there, so you can see now if we have a quick look in the USB, it's starting to install that there, so we'll let that go. Now this can take a little while, probably uh, the last one took probably about 10 minutes to, uh, to transfer all the data across to the USB from this app to the USB. Okay guys, so you can see it just completed there, and if we look in the USB, we've got the OSX uh, installer there. So you can see there, what it did is it erased the disk first to 100%, then it copied all the files across, copy complete, making the disk bootable, so that means you can bo actually boot into this, copy and boot files, and copy complete, done. Pretty much, that's all there is to it. So now you can eject this, uh, this uh, USB, you can plug it into, a, into the max USB drive. Um, when you do a restart, hold down your Alt or Option key, boot into the USB and then you'll be able to go and do a clean install of uh, in Mac OS Sierra. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it from me. If this was a helpful video, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.